Well, hey, everybody, this is Ken Krell, a.k.a. The Kenergizer, and I am beyond thrilled and excited to be with you guys today. If you can hear me okay, would you please pop into the chat? Uh, good morning for those of you here in, uh, in Asia with me. Good afternoon. Actually, some of you are good afternoon because you're in Australia. Um, you, you guys are hearing okay, great. And good evening for those of you in the U.S. First, let me acknowledge and apologize for any of you guys that were confused by my multiple emails that told you we're starting now when, in fact, we were starting two hours later. Um, I think I was a little, just a little bit excited about what we're doing today, and I am. I'm very excited about, about uh, today. Good morning, Debbie from Queensland and Australia. We have people from all over the world here today, Alicia, uh, people from, from Canada, from the U.S., from Australia. Um, and if I'm missing any other countries, why don't you pop in your countries because I'm, I'm, I'm not looking at the, at the list of people at the moment here, which I need to, need to do. Um, but we normally have people in from Greece. We have people in from, from Norway. Uh, from New Zealand, um, it's it's a it's a worldwide it's a worldwide party. So I'm thrilled that you guys are here, and once again, um, you're in for a great treat. The the um, speaker that we have for you today is is a buddy of mine. Alicia has been on our platform before. Some of you may rem remember her from the World Speakers Summit, and World Authors Conference. Good morning, Edmund. Edmund's here from Singapore. Fantastic. Um, so, um, anyway, she, she was a, was a total hit at, at world authors conference. Um, and, um, I couldn't wait to bring her back. And last week or week before, I guess it was when we were in San Diego together at, um, traffic and conversion summit, uh, we finally got to meet in person, which was really cool. Um, Alicia is, is just so much more fun in person. I mean, she's fun online, but in person, she's a panic. And we had, a, we had a great time together and got to do a little bit of, of additional bonding, which, which you can't replace uh, on a virtual stage for sure. Anyway, I, just before we started, I, I asked her to give me a couple of, of tidbits as to what makes her so special. I mean, you're going to experience her specialty today, but helping you write your best-selling book in a weekend, which is supremely important for you in your business. But what's important to me is you get to know a little bit about the person behind the, the business side of things. And as a totalpreneur... Um, I want all of you to have everything, and that's not just the money. That's the lifestyle. That's the fun. That's the, the that's the whole package. And you're about to hear from the quintessential totalpreneur, because uh, this lady has last year she produced uh, her own TV show. She's been on TV a bunch of different times. Um, she has backpacked the world not just once but twice, and um, as and uh, lived on a sailboat in the Pacific for a while. And I kind of got excited and stopped listening when she told me that she trekked Nepal um, and trekked from, um, where the heck were you? What, you, you? You were in some other country. I'm forgetting. You'll, 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 you'll tell me again probably as you tell your story. But, but um, I mean, she did the same trek in Nepal that I did about three months ago. So now we're totally kindred spirits, and I'm trying to get her to come back with me and with you guys in September when we go to do our Nepal trip um, and, and climb up to the Annapurna Range, which is what she actually did. So it's really cool to have someone that shared that experience. This lady is not just uh, an author and not just a, a presenter. She's one of us. You know, she really does walk the talk and live the lifestyle that all of us want. And I'm so thrilled and, and delighted to have her with us today uh, over the next hour or so. You're going to learn how to create your credibility, build your business, and use a book to do it and how do you create it in just a weekend. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's give a virtual applause to my buddy and your new friend, Alicia Dunhams. <laughs> Ken, thank you. You are the kin kinderizer, or whatever that, kinderizer. The kinderizer. That's it. That's and it. yeah, it was, uh, it was Kathmandu to, uh, I traveled overland from Kathmandu all the way to Mumbai. I did it by myself. Um, so uh, it was awesome. You did it by yourself. Uh, that's, that's that's ballsy. I mean, that that really is ballsy. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I was young. I was in my early twenties when I did that. And uh, thank you for that warm welcome. I'm excited uh, to be uh, to be presenting uh, this next hour. Really, how to gain massive credibility by becoming a best-selling author in just one weekend. And it's really about my program, Best Seller in a Weekend. But I'm going to be giving you action items. Uh, and lots of great tidbits and secrets during this next 60 minutes. So I would suggest everyone get their piece of paper out, um, take notes, um, because we're going to be learning a lot, and I definitely want it to be of value. So you can use the GoToWebinar panel to uh, uh, enter in your questions, and I'll be fielding questions towards the end to make sure that you get everything answered. Uh, we want this hour to be well worth it. I know I do. And 
without further ado, let's uh, move forward. Um, and my name is Alicia Dunhams. I'm the founder and CEO of Best Seller in a Weekend. I also that, have a program called 60 Days to Six Figures. And that's a great and, picture of you. That is so adorable. You look, you look fabulous. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I was just talking to someone. I'm, I'm, this picture is probably over a year old now, so I'm going to get some new business shots. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and I um, have a program called 60 Days to Six Figures uh, as well, which is how to launch online, how to launch your online business with virtual boot camps and online trainings. Um, but we're going to be talking about Best Seller in a Weekend in particular uh, today. Um, and, uh, yeah, other than backpacking in the world, I, I spend my time training people all over the world. It's really exciting. I loved when you read out all the places people are from, from Singapore, Australia, I know you're in Thailand, uh, Ken. It's really exciting. I have uh, clients uh, currently right now that I'm working with, uh, one from Ni Ni uh, Nairobi. I have a couple clients in Japan and Australia. So it's really exciting. It, it's exciting to have a global business. I mean, how lucky are we today? So first of all, I want to make sure you're in the right place. So you're in the right place if you are tired of thinking about writing or finishing a book and are ready to actually do it. You're in the right place if you're ready to create an information product. And many of you might think, oh, uh, is a book an information product? Well, it is. It's absolutely because it's really you productizing your expertise. It's, it's packaging your knowledge to profit. And we're going to be talking about how to use your book strategically as a way to build your business. Um, I'm very, I would say, sensitive. Um, and, and part of my, my strategy when I work with clients is not only just to write a book as a you know better business card, if you will, but to write a book that's going to increase your revenue in your business, whether that's through speaking opportunities, with that's uh, launching an online business, whether it's taking that uh, content and, and creating like a certification or all the different types of things that you can do um, to monetize uh, this book content. And then also you're in the right place if you want to create more visibility around your current product and service offerings. and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, what you will learn is why you need to write a book and why you need to write it now. You'll also learn the benefits of selling on Amazon.com, why writing a book is a lead generator. And I'm going to be giving you some tips uh, uh, during, this, during this next six minutes <coughs> on how you can use a book as a lead generator. Um, also, how to title and subtitle your book to maximize sales and how to become a bestseller on Amazon. We're going to be talking about that. I'm going to give you the five steps on how to do a bestseller on Amazon, and then how to leverage your book to get booked on TV. So I'd love to, uh, you know, talk to people on the line who here. Obviously, people are here because they want to learn to write a book. Let's see who on the line who has actually written a book. Let's see if there's anyone on the line who's actually written a book already and just is here to uh, learn some more tips. I have. Bill no has so far. Bill, I think. I, Bill, okay, Bill, you Bill, have. Bill has. I have. Susan has. Uh, Diana, okay, yeah, Diana, yeah, Diana totally needs to hear this because she's got an ebook out. Her first. Okay, great, good. Okay, awesome stuff. And some other people so, are being shy. So. Okay, great. Well, and that's the thing. Um, as I mentioned, we're talking about a book on how to get you booked on TV, and we're going to be talking about creating that pitch. And that's something that happened for me I, when I wrote my book back in 2007. Uh, it was really a great opportunity to appear on TV. It's really almost, I, to me, I consider a book almost replacing a publicist because even my most recent TV appearances, TV producers found me. How did they find me? They found me by going to Google and searching. And I'm finding that my clients are getting the same results because they're seen as a go-to expert. And any decision maker, any TV producer, anyone who gets an assignment, they're going to start off in Google to find someone, to find that expert, to find the book, to find the expertise. So it's a great way to get on TV. And here's some of the places that I've appeared on TV from the Los Angeles Times, um, also Oprah and Friends, Ricky Lake Show. And here is a uh, picture of me on the Ricky Lake Show on a panel of other uh, authors who were moms. We were talking about mommy, mommy stuff on that day. Um, but then also I was featured on the Steve Harvey show. There's a picture of me on the Steve Harvey show uh, where he is uh, featuring my book. And, and that very next day, uh, I was featured on the Steve Harvey show probably like five years after my book came out. And the next day I was a bestseller on Amazon showing that that particular media opportunity drove sales of my book up and which made me a bestseller on Amazon. Um, we'll be talking about that more later. 
But what uh, what's very important for me to share is that it hasn't always been this way. Now, when I wrote my book back in 2007, I spent over $30,000 trying to figure it out. That's with book cover designers and someone to help me make it a bestseller on Amazon and publicists and editors, et cetera. I didn't really know what I was doing. And that's why I'm really uh, have created a program to make sure not only my clients are writing a book, but it's very strategic in terms of building their business where they're creating massive credibility and increasing their revenue based on writing a book. Um, so when I, back then I was a single mom and $30,000 is a lot of money. And what I saw was all these people were kind of you know, showing me what to do, but they didn't show me how to monetize and how to make money. So what I did was I had a book, but I didn't have a business. And so that's why I'm very, very particular with, with my clients now to ensure that we're not only writing a book that's going to boost their business, um, but something that's going to help them make money. So, and that's something that I'm an expert at, <laughs> um, is that I took my seminar-based bestseller in a weekend and I turned it into an online training on creativelive.com with uh, some mentors of mine. One is Lewis Howes. Um, and I was able to make 22000 in two days. And, and so really, uh, this is how I base my uh, you know, Best Summer Weekend program and also 60 Days to Six Figures is how to use content and how to really take your business from a one-to-one -one model into a one-to-many model into a one-to-global model. Well, let me, um, and I'd love to know... I want to jump ahead. in. I want to jump in and tell you I am totally impressed. I didn't realize that you were on Creative Live, and that is a great platform. I mean, that that's totally, totally cool, Alicia. Isn't it cool? Yeah, and it was yeah. they they used my exam, they used my business as a case study, and it was so awesome. And in the moment, we did like a webinar and we made twenty two thousand dollars. It was totally awesome. That's fantastic. Um, so it was a lot of fun, and uh, and then Lewis Howells is a great friend of mine, and and uh, so it's, it was a really cool experience. Now that I can really share uh, share my expertise and help people get results because Ken I don't know about you but I'm I'm uh, you know I really love getting my clients results um, I want to I'm very dedicated to my clients success as I know you are yep. uh, so so that's what we're here to do so not only do I appear on TV but my clients appear on TV as I mentioned results are very important so here are a couple of my clients uh, who have appeared on TV, some of them within weeks, within months of uh, you know, finishing bestseller in a weekend and publishing their book. Uh, I have uh, Anna Maria Sanchez in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to be sharing more of her story today. Um, also, and Mar Mark Verdinsky down here, he uh, published a book on his, um, on his wife's battle with breast cancer, and uh, he did a lot of local news. Michael Houlihan, who's a client of mine, and we, he wrote a New York Times best-selling book, uh, so just a, just an example of it's not only working for me, but it's working for my clients as well. And it just really gets me excited to see my clients being so successful. Okay. Okay. Um, more results. Uh, you know, Mark, again, becoming a number one bestseller, talking about his success with his book. And then we have Tom. Uh, Tom wrote his book, became a number one bestseller. The great thing about Bestseller in a Weekend is it's lifetime membership. So he wrote his first book, and then a month later, he wrote another book and became a bestseller on Amazon. Um, so it's almost like uh, my clients are not only writing one book, but they're writing more books, and the community is such a huge place for that. So, and I mentioned Anna Maria Sanchez, who uh, I think this is a fabulous, fabulous result because she attended Bestseller in a Weekend in June 2011, and she was invited by the United Nations to speak and sit on a panel addressing atrocities against women and a call to end to global domestic violence. And I just thought, how powerful is that? Because Anna Maria, she first came to me just wanting to write a book to attract more clients, and now it's turned into really a global movement, which is so awesome. So let's get into content, because uh, that's important. I want to make sure you got, uh, we use this time wisely. And um, I have a, a concept called the Amazon effect, and really, it's why you need to be on Amazon and why you need to be there now. So, the industry, I mean, it's been around for about 15 years. And uh, Amazon has, uh, has, you know, obviously monopolized the publishing industry and has really given people equal footing. Whereas before, you know, 15 or 20 years ago, someone would have to get, have a traditional publisher to have the distribution. Uh, channels that we now 
all have access to because of Amazon. And, um, and it's really given us all that equal footing and it has uh, created uh, that equal plane for us. So you can have the same distribution plat uh, platform as someone that who has a traditional publisher. Another thing is the Amazon effect is all about their main goal is to drive Kindle sales. If you go to Amazon.com right now, you'll probably see on the above the fold on their homepage, they're selling the Kindle device. The reason they want to sell Kindles is the more Kindles they sell, of course, the more books they sell. And um, so they're selling those devices plus their Amazon Prime membership. So Amazon really wants your content. Uh, they encourage you to have the content. Now, of course, they don't help you write content, but as soon as you have content, they give you really the marketing marketing tools to sell more content. So they are, again, are driving Kindle sales, which is their ebook reader. And Amazon has mathematically driven algorithms, and that's really part of their, their, their subcategories on Amazon, where they have particular niche categories where you can trend in that category. Um, they have lots of categories to choose from. And basically, it works like this. Amazon is a search engine, just like Google. And they have a predictive search field, um, where when people start typing in a search, um, they, they predict it um, based on how someone was, is typing. And the more books that you sell, the more likely you are going to place higher in the search rankings on Amazon. So you definitely want to be there. Another reason you want to be there, as I mentioned before, it's a number one retail search engine. It's a buyer search engine. People go to Amazon to buy. So people go to Google to do research. People go to Amazon to buy. And if they don't find what they're looking for, they're going to assume it doesn't exist. So it's definitely a place that you want to be. You want to come up in Amazon searches because there's over 100 million buyers on Amazon. And guess what? And these are one click buyers. So Amazon has all of their credit card information, mailing address, et cetera. And you really want to have access to these. I know in my home we have you know four or five Kindles. Uh, we we're buying uh, Kindle books on on a daily basis, um, and it's uh, you want to have access to that. So you want to be aligned with your target audience, with your particular um, industry keyword search term. And we're going to be talking about that uh, more. A little bit more about Amazon is it's huge. It's the number one online retailer. I think I just uh, read. Their, their, quarter, their Q4 uh, 2013 was uh, like 24% up. So they are massively growing in terms of online book sales and ebook sales. And they see the growth in the ebook, really the ebook sector of their business. So again, the more ebooks they have, the more ebooks that they're selling, uh, the more Kindles that they're selling. And they even have the KDP Select program which gives people an opportunity where they can you know, lend books, where you as an author can lend books out, but then you have access to a pool um, of money every month that they give out based on the number of books that are loaned out. So are you visible? And this is a question everyone should be asking themselves. Are you visible online? Are you being found? Are you on the first page of results on Google? Here's a client of mine. Her name is Dr. Marie Jen. And her book is called Asian Beauty Secrets. And as Google is a search engine, and we mentioned Amazon as well, you know, Google loves to return results that have an, a product attached, so something that someone can buy. So Google owns YouTube. And we all, obviously there's a How to Master Asian Beauty Secrets down there, which is a YouTube video. But Google prioritizes Amazon search results. So if they can bring back a book, they're going to put that above. Um, so, so it's just a great way to not only be seen on Google, be seen on Amazon by having a book, but also to be seen in Google searches. Now, you know, uh, when I mentioned before how event planners and TV producers, they go to they go to Google to find out information and to find maybe the next expert to book. Uh, this is a client of mine, Heidi Sloss, and her book is called Fortune Is in the Follow Up. And a journalist called her on the blue because he had an assignment to write about fortune is in the follow-up, like the, the, the uh, concept. And uh, he put it into the search engine, and she came up, and she was the author of this book, and he contacted her to interview her for the article he was writing. So just showing that there's power in keyword search terms, which we're going to be talking about a little bit later. 
So are you optimized? Are you being found online? Um, I know that I was uh, booked on the Ricky Lake show because of my social media presence. Uh, I was booked on Steve Harvey's show because one of the producers found me online. So it's really about gaining that visibility. So let's talk about how to generate leads from Amazon. This is another reason uh, you want to have a book on Amazon, not only because there's over 100 million buyers, one-click buyers, uh, and that your book is going to be uh, indexed in Google, um, uh, but also you can generate leads from Amazon. Now, back, back in 2007, when I wrote my book and I was uh, talking to a, a guy um, in the industry, he was telling me that a, a bookstore is the worst place for your book to be. He said, because when they go into the store and they purchase their book, they leave the store and you don't have any information. You don't have, you don't have their name, you don't have their, um, you don't have their email, you don't have anything. And you could say the same thing about Amazon. If they, if someone goes and buys something on Amazon, you don't have access to any of that information. Now Amazon does, but you don't have access to it. Now here's a quick trick on how to generate leads from Amazon. You can go, um, you utilizing the Look Inside the Book program on Amazon. You can have live links inside the Look Inside the Book program. And you can mention something like, you know, in this case, where Victor Chang, the author of Case Interview Secrets, listed, you know, the free companion items of this book, including video demonstrations, printable versions of handouts and book updates are available at caseinterview.com forward slash bonus. So that page goes to his opt-in on his website. So that's why you're taking those 100 million buyers and getting them on your website. So really your goal is to get them off on Amazon and onto your website, purchasing your online training, purchasing seminars, purchasing, purchasing your coaching and consulting. So that's really the goal of that. And you can use the Look Inside the Book program to do that and even have live hyperlinks in that, uh, in that uh, Look Inside the Book software. Other ways you can generate business opportunities from your book, here's another client of mine, Joel Rasmussen, and he wrote a book on vacation rental business, and it was a really cool thing because he's in real estate, but he, it also gave him opportunity to get spokesperson work. So he's a spokesperson now for different websites that focus on the vacation rental business, and he was asked, he is, uh, because of his book and the visibility around his book, he was asked to rewrite customer-facing copy uh, for a major, major $3 billion company uh, in this space. So really powerful on how writing a book can just take your business to the next level by adding additional revenue streams as well. And so I'd love to talk about this, which is the bestseller profit funnel. And this is uh, really kind of my uh, business funnel. Many of you probably have seen a business funnel like this, but this is something that I introduced during Bestseller in a Weekend because I want to make sure that your book is a, uh, a strategic part of your funnel. And really, your book is at the top level of your funnel. It could be the first access people have to you. I call it the one to million model. You can instantly, after Bestseller in a Weekend, within 12 hours, have your book available uh, in Italy and Brazil and Japan, all over the world. Um, via the Kindle uh, KDP Select program. Um, it's very, very powerful. And so as you build your business and your funnel, I mean, there's many of people, many people even on this line who might uh, be trading hours for dollars and not have this funnel flushed out. And uh, your book is a first way where you can start bringing people in and start creating a one-to-many model versus a one-to-one -one model. Because as we know, the one-to-one -one model um, is not sustainable. Um, it's not sustainable because you only have so many hours in the day, uh, and and when you're not working, you're not making money, and and that's not a great place to be in. Um, and so when you create your book during bestseller in a weekend, not only is it a book that you can sell on Amazon and other retail, but you can turn that content into whether it's online training, whether it's the seminars, whether it's your signature talk, um, you can sell other products and and seminars and coaching, or even your one-on-one -on -one time, which is at the bottom of this funnel, um, which is, you know, I would say that your time is the holy grail of your business, so it's not something you want to lead with. You want to lead with products, and then you want to lead with, like, uh, group trainings as seminars, but uh, it's very important to lead with products, and that's where the book comes in. 
So would love to know why do you think it is most people don't write a book? Because this is a good way to chime in. Uh, Ken, maybe you can let me know what people are chiming in about. Um, why people do not write a book. Okay, let me uh, unmute myself. I just did that. And okay, so what's stopping you guys? What's your resistance, as Stephen Pressfield would say in his book, The War of Art? What's your resistance to getting, getting your book written? It's so funny you mentioned that book today. It was the second time it was mentioned to me. Really? I can't wait to He's interview him. I, I, I love this. Love that guy. He's just, it, if, every single one of you needs to read that book. Um, hang on, let me, I just lost my screen here. Diana says, they think their English is bad. That's good. Um, but he oh. says, not, not, wouldn't be good enough to market. And mm. Stu, Stu says, discipline is my daily routine. I'm not sure whether, whether that means you're into discipline, Stu, or whether you don't have any discipline. But if, if my suspicion is you probably don't have discipline, which is, which is similar to most of the rest of us <laughs> out there. Um, yeah, I mean, these a lot of, you know, not knowing how to write or not being a good writer, not having the time, not, uh, you know, not knowing what to do. These are things that always come up uh, yeah. when I ask this question. Let's see, they say they don't have the time. Yeah, extending, extending, extending a topic's content to fill a book. Yeah, not having enough content. That's, that's a big one, Edmund. I, I've struggled with that one. I don't think I don't have enough to say which is probably wow. the biggest thing of BS in the world. but um, Yeah, and, and if you can, I always say this, if you can answer someone's problem in less than 100 pages, if you can answer someone's problem in 50 pages, you're actually doing them a service. Uh, it's uh, the more to the point you are uh, in, in terms of the content and the solution that you're providing, I mean, that's, that's even better if it's not long. Uh, and people ask me all the time, you know, because we go through during Best Seller Weekend how long your book could be. Um, there's there's instances where your book should be 20 pages. There are instances when it should be 200 pages, and it really depends on who your target audience is, what's their pain point, and how you solve it. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Let's see. Research is expensive. DH says, um, which is not necessarily true. That's a belief system. What I should write about everything. Uh, it just said is what I meant by not good enough to market. Yeah, no idea how to start. That's, that yes. starts, yeah, uh-huh, uh, perfectionist tendencies, oh, yes, <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm just reading them to you, you can, you can hit them as you like, because there, we could, we could talk for hours about the, these things. Yeah, lots of limiting beliefs, and, yeah. and yeah. that's why I created Best Seller in a Weekend, because it's a very collaborative environment, people are dedicated to their success, so it's not you by yourself staring at a screen. Um, there's a lot of exercises. I mean, the whole weekend is full of exercises where you start the pre-marketing of your book, where you are uh, coming up with your topic, your title, your subtitle, where you're writing your book. So we're not, we're not talking the talk, we're walking the walk during the weekend, where you can have a 100-page book, 100-page, 5 by 8 book by the end of day three. And it's because of those some of those limiting beliefs. I mean, people have major breakthroughs during the weekend to see that they really can do it and they really have something, a message to offer the world. Um, so it's very, very powerful in that way. So I um, have on the screen here Case Interview Secrets. This is the book cover of uh, Victor Chang, who is a client of mine, um, but also a mentor of mine uh, for years, a mentor of mine. And uh, he wrote his book Case Interview Secrets, a former McKinsey interviewer reveals how to get multiple job offers in consulting. and um, this just shows that uh, Victor, who has a very successful uh, expert-based business where he has books, he has online training, and he has certified coaches, um, he has totally moved, removed himself for the process. So many of you might say, hey, I'm still trading hours for dollars. Well, Victor has a very successful business where he has removed himself away from it. He has that, that, that a business funnel totally fleshed out where he has books, he has information products, and he has certified coaches where he is removed from the process, and that's a really cool thing. But I want to use that, um, since we had some of those limiting beliefs, to talk about how you are an expert. And this is with my expert formula. We can all get a pen out right now and write this down and do this exercise. And it, help, it really goes like this. Hello, my name is. I help target audience. Be do have your expertise so that results. So I can use this as an example. And, and Ken, if you want to take a stab at this, Definitely use this as an example as well. 
Yeah, and guys, I want I, and, guys, and guys, I want you to play this. This is this is really important because as some of you have have written down some of those obstacles, those of you who didn't had even more obstacles than those that actually wrote them down because you guys just hung out in the background and didn't play. Then every single one of you should be writing this down. Or and if you don't have a paper, or if you're if you you came in by phone or whatever, and you're not you know you're not near a desk to do that, then think it through. But seriously, play. This will make a huge difference. So yeah, let's play. Hey. <laughs> A huge difference, and to piggyback off of that, Ken, it's very powerful, because everyone on this call we have, you're spending an hour of your time. You're doing anything during this hour, and what I ask you is to play all in and play big and play with excellence, because we're all leaders here, and how amazing when we put 100% focus behind things, mm -hmm. what, kind of, what kind of things we can create. So let's do it here. So yeah, and, I'm gonna and, start. And, and, and let, me, let me just give you one other thing just, just to get you guys set for this mentally, okay? Um, when we do a webinar these days, webinar show factors are anywhere from 10% um, to 25%. We don't get 50% anymore. We don't get 40% anymore. It doesn't happen. People just, they're, they're, they're not as motivated as they used to be. Right now, we're, we're at about 40 plus percent of attendance on this, this program today, which tells me that you guys actually care, you're passionate, and you're committed. So this is where you get to play and, and show me. So Diana says this is going to be fun. So Alicia, rock on. Hello, my name is Alicia Dunhams. I help business owners become best-selling authors quickly so that they can establish credibility and make more money in their business. So this is the expert formula, and we could do the same thing. And, and Ken, if you want to jump in as well, we can look at how Victor Chang would do this. Hello, my name is Victor Chang. I help MBA graduates pass the case interview so that they get multiple job offers in consulting. And so really this is a foundational piece for your book. So many of you who might have been at a networking event um, and, and you can really drill down and create a beautiful elevator pitch, but this elevator pitch is so important in terms of the foundation of who you are and what kind of book you're gonna write. Now, I personally love this. I love really drilling down to the essence because I say a confused prospect doesn't buy and a confused colleague doesn't refer. How many people out there know people who, you know, every day they change what they what they do, and they don't have this clear that this how they help people down. You want to be really clear, quick, and concise on how you help people, and it's been really simple, just like what I said. Hello, my name is Alicia Dunham's. I help business owners become best-selling authors quickly so that they can establish credi credibility and make more money. It's easy. People know how to refer me. The same thing with Victor. Uh, Victor has this business where he helps MBA graduates pass the case interview so they get multiple job offers for consulting. Ken, do you want to take a stab at this? Sure. Uh, uh, hi, my name is Ken Krell. Um, I help entrepreneurs become totalpreneurs and have everything they want in their life, their business, and their lifestyle. So that? Oh, okay. Well, that, I, was, I thought I kind of wrapped it in there. so that they can Yeah, you a, did. That, that's good. Yeah, I, I think you did. Do it again. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hi, my name is Ken Krell. I, I, yeah, so I, I didn't follow the formula. I apologize. Uh, my, hi, my name is Ken Krell. I help entrepreneurs become totalpreneurs uh, where, so they can have the lifestyle that they've always dreamed of in business, life, and um, um, economics. Excellent. Okay, good. That's awesome. Awesome. So everyone at home would love for you to play with this formula because that will be the foundation of your book. And, and by the way, let me jump in for a second. For those of you guys that, that um, are high achievers, you may be expert in more than one area. and so focus on the one you want to deal with first and do only one. You know, in other words, I can, I can teach you about how to invest in real estate. I can teach you how to, how to do a bunch of different things. But today I'm teaching you how to become a totalpreneur, right? And that's what, what I'm writing about right now. I might, might, I might write a different book about something else. And in your business, you want to do the same thing. Keep your focus on one thing only, which is why Alicia has given it to you this way. Don't try to break it out into, I can do everything for everybody because you can't. And you'll yeah, um, I always say if you appeal if you appeal to everyone, you appeal to no one. Absolutely. And the more focused and niche you are on a particular target audience, and 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 really doing something for that particular, you know, problem that they have, and offering a unique solution, um, the more super niche you are, the better. Especially in this search economy that we live in, when you when you do everything for everyone, when you offer a buffet of services, um, you, you you know you. Uh, uh, you almost cheapen um, what you can really do. And so it's better to be focused and niche on a particular thing. 
Um, and that's what we're going to talk about more when determining the topic of your book. So really at the end of the day, when you're determining the topic of your book, you have target audience, who's your target audience, what's their headache, and how do you solve it? As an expert, as a business owner, how do you solve it? So who's your target audience, what's their headache, and how do you solve it? Um, and so in the particular case of Victor Chang, to use him as an example, his target audience is MBAs who want a job in consulting. Their headache is they have to pass the case interview, which is one of the hardest postgraduate degrees out there or tests out there. And then his solution is how to pass the case interview so you get multiple job offers in consulting. So he has a extremely successful business based on these three factors. So the more drilled down you are, especially in the search economy where people are looking for specific solutions to their particular problems, it's the best way to go. So this is how you determine your book topic. Now we're talking about non-fiction books here. If there's anyone on the line who wants to write a fiction book, I have an awesome program for that too, which is Best Seller of the Weekend for fiction writers. Um, but this is particular for non-fiction books. So to determine your book topic, you really answer this formula. By reading this book, my target audience will discover a solution. So an example of Victor Chang, by reading this book, MBA graduates will discover how to pass a case interview to get multi multiple job offers in consulting. It's really as simple as that. So here's the five-step process that, uh, one of the five-step processes that I teach during Best Seller in a Weekend. Um, this is the one where we create the, the bulk of the book content. And it is by what we just featured, determining the topic of your book. Who's your target audience? What's their pain point? How do you solve it? Then we list core concepts. Then we brainstorm questions. And those questions become interview questions. We'll record audio and then we transcribe the words into book content. And this is just kind of another laid out version of this where you determine the topic of your book by asking those questions. Who's your target audience? What's their headache? How will you solve it? And we list the core concepts. We identify six concepts to become the core structure of the book. And we brainstorm the questions and determine 20 interview questions for each core concept. You record an interview. Have your partner ask the 120 core concept questions. And you record it. You transcribe the interview. This provides the bulk of your book. So two hours of audio is equivalent to 20,000 words, which is equivalent to a five by eight book of 100 pages. So um, this is an awesome way to create book content easily. It's the fastest way to create book content. And we, we go through other exercises during the weekend on how to interview subject matter experts to create and source book, uh, book content, and also how to cre uh, create Book content through writing and through surveys and through case studies. Um, but this is like the bulk in terms of creating that 100 page book. So now I want to talk about how to select a title that sells. Now I have a formula where the title of the book is the noun and the subtitle is the verb. And it really lends itself to this formula that the title formula is noun teaches how to verb. So the noun is the, you know, the item, like the title of the book, what you name the book. But the subtitle is the transformation, the business results, what they're going to learn, the solution, what's going to happen because they read this book. Let me show you some examples of this. Now, first of all, I just want to remind you that Amazon is a search engine. So just as we talked about the title formula, it's very important that in your title and subtitle that you have keywords. What do I mean by keywords? Well, keywords are really words that are search engine optimized. Amazon is a search engine. So for example, going back to Victor's book, case interview. Case interview is a hot keyword. Um, it is uh, searched, I believe, over you know, 10,000 times a month, uh, global, um, global views a month, um, you know, according, to, according to the Google Keyword Planner. But uh, case interview, uh, is a keyword term. So because it's in the title and someone who goes to Amazon looking for a solution to their problem, case interview, then Victor Chang's book comes up. And again, it, that com it comes up based on the mathematical algorithm, how many books it sells, and also um, case interview being in the title of the book. So this becomes your elevator pitch. That title formula will eventually kind of evolve into your elevator pitch. So here's uh, my clients, the New York Times best-selling authors of Barefoot Spirit, 
how hardship, hustle, and heart build America's number one wine brand. So if we go back to that title formula, it will say the barefoot spirit teaches how hardship, hustle, and heart built America's number one wine brand. Do you see how that works? It's the noun teaches the verb. The, ma the uh, barefoot spirit teaches how hardship, hustle, and heart built America's number one wine brand. Here's an example of Seth Godin with his book Permission Marketing. The subtitle of the book is Turning Strangers into Friends and Friends into Customers. And when we marry that together, we say permission marketing teaches how to turn strangers into friends and friends into customers. Half the sky. Um, just an example, if we just see the title of this book, the noun, it could be about anything. This book could be about bird watching, it could be about uh, aeronautics or astrology or what have you. But it's really the subtitle that tells us what is going to happen by reading this book. Now, as many of you know who have read this book, Half the Sky is, you know, of course, a sweeping uh, book, a national bestseller um, about how, turning, how to turn oppression into opportunity for, for women worldwide with micro-lending and uh, Kiva, and, and, and it was a PBS special. Um, but when we marry it together, it shows what the book is about. And this is really important when we create that pitch for the media. So Half the Sky teaches how to turn oppression into opportunity for women worldwide. So how to pitch your book to media, event planners, and other decision makers. My name is, I'm the best-selling author of, which teaches subtitle. So my name is, I'm the best-selling author of title, which teaches subtitle. So I can use all the following examples in this, um, in this particular formula. Uh, hello, my name is Cheryl Wudun. I'm the best-selling co-author of Half the Sky, which teaches how to turn oppression into opportunity for women worldwide. Because the reason why I like getting down to the essence, and you'll see that in my formula, because I mean, in a past life, I was a technical writer. And so I like getting things very clear and back and down to the essence. The reason we do this um, is to be clear, quick, and concise, because with a TV producer or anyone who's, who who's, has a busy career, they will give you five minutes. And believe me, if it takes you 20 to 30 minutes to describe what your book is about, you're going to lose them. So you want to be strong. You want to come across confident and strong um, and really have a pitch that's going to sell them, that's going to show them what transformation is going to occur, what business results are going to occur, what life results are going to occur because people read this book. Another example, my name is Michael Houlihan. I'm the best-selling co-author of The Barefoot Spirit, which teaches how hardship, hustle, and heart built America's number one wine brand. Hello, my name is Seth Godin. I'm the best-selling author of Permission Marketing, which teaches how to turn strangers into friends and friends into customers. And hello, my name is Victor Chang. I'm the best-selling author of Case Interview Secrets, which teaches how to get multiple job offers in consulting. Again, clear, quick, and concise. Gives people the opportunity to say, okay, that's great. You're clear. You can speak in microscripts. You can speak in sound bites. You would be great for our show. And then it gives you them the opportunity to ask, okay, awesome, tell me more about your book. So right now we're going to talk about the five ways to become a bestseller on Amazon. Now these five tips alone um, ha can help people, help you even if you're an author right now, because I know we already have some authors on the line, uh, go back and really create a new interest around their book by making sure you're in the right sub super niche categories. Now, I know we only have uh, 60 minutes here to teach you these strategies. We go into full-on, in-depth during Bestseller Weekend on how to create marketing and internet marketing campaigns to become a bestseller uh, on Amazon, and we go through that in a very creative way. But in this particular five-step process, I'm going to teach you uh, really uh, some quick and fast ways to become a bestseller on Amazon. And the first is to ensure you are categorized in super niche categories. As I mentioned before, Amazon has created many categories to categorize their books. And the importance of this is you are, when you're in the right categories, you are where your target audience um, it, it is. You are where your target audience is. So for example, these are two of my clients on the screen right here. Uh, the Facebook Guide to Small Business Marketing by Ramon Ray. He was commissioned by Facebook to write this book. And he came to me because um, he was, it was up to him to market it. Uh, and we made him a bestseller, uh, not only number one and number two, um, his Kindle and print version, but he was um, a bestseller in the e-commerce category 
on Amazon. And another one of my clients, uh, Christine Bronstein, uh, she wrote an anthology with 51 uh, women in a group that she has called A Band of, a Band of Women. Uh, and their book is Nothing But the Truth, So Help Me God. 51 Women Reveal the Power of Positive Fem Female Connection. So in this particular book, she's number one, they're number one and number two in feminist theory category. So this shows a perfect example of you could be a bestseller, but you want to be a bestseller in your category where target audience is. So Ramon's book doesn't need to be a bestseller in the feminist theory ca category, and uh, nothing but the truth, so help me God, doesn't need to be a bestseller in e-commerce. You want to be where your people are looking. You want to create content that people are looking for, and you want to create content that's going to get people off of Amazon onto your website and becoming your clients. Number two to become a bestseller on Amazon is conduct an Amazon book buying blitz during a 24 to 48 hour period. This really incentivizes people to purchase your book during a, a um, exclusive urgent time frame where they'll purchase your book but they get other bonus offers, whether you offer a cool Google Hangout so everyone purchases during that time, a special webinar, uh, whether you, uh, whether you uh, create uh, you know, some sort of a, you know, a special ebook or any other uh, prizes for them to purchase on that particular period. Um, it is a great way to create that initial uh, buzz on Amazon, but that coupled with really creating a great title and subtitle of your book uh, that's keyword specific will ensure um, through, uh, through the sales of your book will ensure that um, organic search will help you become uh, continue to stay a bestseller in your category. I know Victor Chang um, is continuously a bestseller in his category because the title of the book, his book is Case Interview Secrets. It has that keyword term, but also because it's a great book. Um, how to become a bestseller on Amazon? Create a book launch team of bloggers, other authors, community leaders, people with lists and tribes. This is super important. This is super important um, because you want to create people who have significant lists um, of influence to send out on your behalf the day you launch your book. And the good news is one thing we do during Best Learn Weekend is we begin to create this book launch team and reaching out to people who will not only promote your book but even help you write your book, which is something that we do during the weekend. So this is a huge, huge thing is to really create that, that network of people to support you. Number four is to organize book bulk book purchases from associations and professional organizations. Now this is especially important if you're going to, uh, if you're going for New York Times bestseller status. So major um, uh, authors and you know, CEOs and experts who, who write books and become bestsellers on the New York Times usually are co conducting these type of campaigns. Maybe they're uh, trading their, their uh, speaking services, uh, like in lieu of their speaking fee, they are trading it for, um, uh, for bulk book purchases. But you can also do this with the Amazon campaign. And it's a great way, even in your local community with local meetups and rotary clubs and chamber of commerce, uh, you can have them purchase the book in bulk and come and speak. It's a great way to sell books. And as we mentioned before, utilizing Amazon tools, Amazon wants your content. I cannot emphasize that enough. Um, and, and if you are not on Amazon, you're really doing yourself a disservice. Uh, if you want to be seen as an expert in your career. So you want to write a book. I mean, it's, it's not a matter of uh, if you're going to write a book, but when you're going to write a book. It's, so, it's super important to be found on Amazon.com. So you want to utilize Amazon tools. Um, you have Amazon Create Space, Author Central, Authors Rank, KDP Select. The Look Inside the Book Program, as I mentioned before, a great way to have hyperlinks, live links in there to send people to your website. Uh, Amazon's Create Space is a great way to self-publish your book and uh, make sure that you are a highly ranked. Amazon um, will actually prioritize people who use Amazon's Create Space versus other self-publishing platforms. Author Central, you can add video, you can add your social media. Authors rank, not only are they ranking books, but they're ranking authors based on how many books you have and if, you're, if they're bestsellers or not. And the KDP Select program is a lending library, if you will. And uh, you can offer your book for a 90-day period in the lending library, and you are part of a monthly pool um, based on the number of books that have been uh, lent out. 
Now, again, Amazon, your hourly snapshot. I have, I speak to a lot of business owners who are frustrated, who are completely frustrated about the amount of money they're spending on marketing and social media and PR. And when it comes to the end of the day, you can track uh, through your, uh, you know, your profile page on Amazon and through your Author Central account, you can track on a daily basis how your marketing and PR opportunities are faring. What's the return on investment? Um, if you see you're spending thousands of dollars a month on a PR person and your books aren't selling, they're not number one bestseller, it's probably not a good use of time or money. You want to see the ROI. The Amazon gives you an hourly snapshot. Just as I saw when I was on the Steve Harvey show, the next day I was a bestseller in the women in business category in Amazon, showing that I had an uh, influx of uh, sales because I appeared on that show. And, and if, if based on whatever business priorities you have, you could say, okay, that was a good use of my time to get on an airplane, to fly out there and to appear on the show. Uh, so again, at the end of the day, it always comes like, what's the return on investment? And writing a book is a huge return on investment. I know personally, I mentioned I spent $30,000 when I wrote my book, but I made that within the first year. I made that back with getting one of my um, major clients when I started my book coaching business. And so what I'm finding with my clients, they're making their money back. I just recently had a client who went to Best Seller Weekend. She wrote her book. And within months, again, she uh, got a booking on Fox News. I have clients who are getting those high, you know, um, those uh, high, uh, high net worth clients uh, because they have a book. Again, they're attracting more clients. Um, people who are uh, attracting joint venture partners. So it's a way to take your business to the next level. I want to do a recap as we get started. I want to make sure that we uh, have time for questions as well. So writing a book establishes credibility, increases visibility, generates TV and radio publicity, and attracts more clients. There's no doubt about it. Writing a book, it takes you and your business to the next level. Now, having a listing on Amazon increases your search engine optimization um, and discoverability in the search economy. We live in a search economy. People are going to Google first to find information, to find people to work with, to find the next person they're going to book for an event. You want to be found online. This is a way to get you there in this search economy. You can write a book fast by focusing on who your target audience is, what's their pain point, and how you solve it. Uh, it's, it's a really focused way to get down to the granalities of how you can dominate a particular niche and write about that, and then you can create a whole business around it. Um, so you first write your book, then you need to create an online, create an online training, and then maybe you do a, some sort of, uh, you have a signature to topic around that. And so one thing I find during Best Seller Weekend, not only people writing their books during the weekend, but they're creating intellectual property. Whatever They might come up with a really awesome title. Actually, I was just working with a client uh, who attended Best Seller in a Weekend, and, uh, and uh, she, uh, she came up with an awesome, awesome title. And I'm like, trademark that right away. It is such an awesome title. That title is going to be the title of your book, but it's also going to turn into it's also going to turn into the title of your signature talk and a seminar series and an online training. Very powerful stuff. Book writing is simple when you have formulas. Uh, during the weekend, it's very formulaic. Um, I want to make sure that people have results. They get their book written during the weekend. It's a very important for me. It's a fun weekend. And the reason why I have these type of formulas is to, not, it's to really help you through the process in terms of mindset. Um, and it's, it's a very powerful way to get your book content done. And it's really powerful to see the creations that people are creating um, during the weekend. Another recap is to create an online 24 to 48 hour book buying blitz to become a bestseller on Amazon. This is a surefire way to become a bestseller in your category on Amazon. So I'm going to be talking about a little bit how we can continue to work together before we get to questions. And the, love, the thing I love about in life is that we all have choices. Um, and uh, I did a webinar earlier today, and this woman said, I've been working on my year book for 10 years. Um, and so there's people who can do that. You could spend a ton of time, energy, years, and money trying to figure out how to write a book all by yourself. That's choice A. Or you can take a shortcut and let someone else help you write your best-selling book fast. I know for me and my business, is there someone that can help me get from point A to point B quickly? I'd rather bring them on and do what I do well, um, and that's... Um, 
speaking and facilitating and motivating. I'm totally, totally into inspiring my clients into greatness. Um, so absolutely, um, you know, take the shortcut. I'm going to invite you to take the shortcut and continue to work with me attending bestseller in a weekend to get your book done. And I just want to mention that uh, it's my mission to help you write a book in record time so that you can establish credibility, attract more clients, increase visibility, increase revenue in your business. That is my mission. And at the end of the day, my mission is to create other leaders. So I talked about Anna Maria Sanchez, how she went from holistic healer to speaking at the United Nations. How cool is that? Within 18 months, it's like crazy. Um, I mean, this is awesome. This is how powerful you can be when you step into your greatness. When you, you know, because when you play small, you're not doing anyone a, a service. You're doing yourself a disservice and you're doing your clients, the potential people you can reach a disservice as well. And I want to encourage you to play full out, play full big and like really, really, really go deep in how powerful you can be as a leader, whether it's leader uh, in your particular niche, your expertise, in your country, whatever it is, how you can change lives, how you can launch movements. That's what I'm into. So here's a picture of Anna Maria Sanchez. And here's a picture where she was at the original Best Seller the Weekend when I did them um, as seminars, live seminars. And uh, that's how I started my business. Now I do them online because I find my clients are all over the world. I actually found that out when I did a LinkedIn campaign. I hired a company to um, utilize LinkedIn to find more leads. And I found that I was talking to people in South Africa and Australia and New Zealand and Singapore. And, I, and they were all like, oh, goodness, I want to take your program, but I live in Singapore or I live in South Africa. And so that's when I took the, really the step to take my you know, in-person seminar business and take it in, into an online uh, training where I teach people, where it's still live, where it's online. I'm laser coaching people. We got the Facebook community. We got the LinkedIn community fully, fully engaged like you're, you're there in the room. Um, and it's very powerful. Um, it, is, it is a live weekend, so I can coach people and give them feedback on their title and their book cover and all this stuff that we're doing. But here's a picture of Anna Maria where she wins, goes from idea to best-selling author. And here's uh, several best-selling authors. And this is, again, um, uh, these parties I used to hold in, in San Francisco where people would uh, share their books. They were like trade shows. Uh, it was such a, such a fun, fun event. And you see some of the people that I've talked about from Dr. Marie Jin to Anna Maria. Um, and uh, Heidi Sloss, uh, to some other authors, Christine Bronstein, nothing but the truth to help me God, from construction workers to real estate agents to bloggers, mommy bloggers. Uh, I have helped them all uh, become best-selling authors and use it as a tool to build their business. So I'd love to talk about how you and I can continue to work together during Best Seller in a Weekend so you can get your book done already. Um, and I want to kind of tell you about this program. Now, it's a three-day live workshop, a three-day live workshop, and, and it starts on day one. Now, this is, uh, it's all on Pacific Standard Time, um, and because uh, I'm based in San Francisco, California, but I find it's like such cool stuff happens. I have people like in England taking it at the same time as New Zealand, and, and where people are having Skype parties and fun parties and doing all kinds of stuff because, again, it's live but it's online, so it's fully energetic, and I'm fully working with all of you. Um, it's such a dynamic, dynamic uh, weekend and experience. So day one, we do your book game plan. This is the first time we jump in and we determine and develop your book elevator pitch in just 60 seconds so that you can impress prospects, colleagues, events planners, and the media. We're really creating the foundation of your book by writing your back of the book bio so that you can boost your credibility instantly. Then we focus on creating the most marketable and niche subject matter for your book and book topic. And that's on day one. Now day two, it's a busy day. We get a lot done during day two, and that is defining your book topic, title, and subtitle. So we brainstorm and finalize your book title and subtitle. We test your book title and subtitle with Google SEO and your target audience. We're continuously testing through the weekend. Not only are we writing your book during the weekend, but we're pre-marketing your book during the weekend. It is uh, such an amazing thing to do where people are already starting to announce their email list and their Facebook and LinkedIn community that they're writing a book. Then we define the deliverables of your book by outlining the bestseller outline, which includes the chapter headers and table of contents. Again, this is a three-day live workshop over the weekend. 
Day two, continue. We pull up your sleeves and we write your book. We outline your bestseller outline or table of contents, which includes your book topic, your subtitle, your chapter top or topics and headers. And then we write your book using the proven five-step signature process for 20,000 words is equivalent to a 100-page five-by-eight book. On day three, we continue to write. We continue to write your book by going after subject matter experts and doing surveys. And then we go into continuing the packaging and publishing of your book. So outlining the elements needed for your high impact book cover, plus how to design your book cover fast. Also, how to edit your book in three simple steps and five paths to publishing, plus the four ways that, that can make that, the ways that make self-publishers can distribute their book. And then this is truly important. We finish your back of the book content with your headline, your synopsis, the features and benefits of your book, and your back of the book bio that you created. So we create that copy, and that is the copy that sells your book. That's the copy that is on your Amazon profile page. That is the copy that will turn look, lookers into buyers on your Amazon page. Day three continued, module your best-selling marketing plan how to market your book to bestseller on status on Amazon. We go deep into creating campaigns on the blog entries that you're going to write, on people you're going to reach out to, creating your book launch team. The day you're going to launch your book, what incentive, what, how are you going to incentivize people to purchase your book? We get into creative marketing strategies uh, on that day. Plus, including the four ways book sell and the one way to make it a bona fide bestseller and how to categorize your book on Amazon to target your audience. There's not a lot of people know how to do this. Um, I think there's a lot of publishers who don't even know how to categorize your book on Amazon. So we get into some really uh, sophisticated um, strategies on day three. Then day three continues. We talk about monetizing your message. For example, how to leverage your book to start a thought movement. We do some really creative stuff around that. Um, creating a global awareness campaign. Plus how to market your book utilizing the best uh, bestseller profit funnel. So using your book as the way to make more money in your business. Now I, I list here the schedule again. Everything is based on Pacific Standard Time. Now I want to mention that this is live, but you have lifetime access to all the videos, the process maps, um, all of the materials uh, and eBooks to write your book. Now we do it live so you have the energy and you have the chance to work with me and to get direct feedback. But you can do it on your own too. I've had people do it both ways. But at the live schedule we do, um, uh, you know, every other month to make sure that you can uh, join in and have the energy and to work with me and my team on a close basis. So additionally, how to write a legal disclaimer for your book. This is where I've created legal disclaimers where you can literally cut and paste this into your book. This is super, super powerful. And I created these beautiful process maps to really visualize, visually take you through the week, weekend from day one to day three. Um, it's a great way people print them out and they paste them on their wall. Um, another thing we do during the weekend, which is it's so much fun, is we have tons of contests and we're giving away prizes in the weekend. We do a lot of marketing stuff, a lot of marketing with LinkedIn, a lot of marketing with Facebook and Instagram. Um, so really, um, I've had people who said it's the best social media course they've ever taken, and I'm like, I'm not, you know, I, I've been using social media for a long time. I don't consider myself a social media guru, but when you go to my LinkedIn page, everyone's like, this is the like best social media course I've ever taken. Um, so we're doing a lot with social media because you know what? You need social media to become a bestseller on Amazon. Then I have the how to make you a, be, uh, uh, make your book a bestseller, a bestseller on Amazon and my Rolodex of designers, book editors, etc. So this is 100% live training with online lifetime access. So you have online lifetime access to the membership site and to the community, which the community alone is worth the cost of entry. So normally I charge $15.97 for the in-person events. Now this is when I used to have them in my hotel conference centers. But in actuality, I've just been hired on by a company um, where I'm going to be facilitating some of these uh, for some women's groups and some special executive groups, and they're charging uh, $1,900 per person. So now it's going for $1,900 per person. Now online I sell it for $997. You can go to my website right now and purchase it for $997. But for today, for Kin's group, for pulling this all together, it's $497. If you go to totalpreneur.com 
forward slash bestseller. So that's 497. Now I want to talk about who is bestseller the weekend for and not for because I think it's really important to establish that. And uh, really it's for speakers, coaches and consultants, service providers, bloggers, internet marketers, product-based entrepreneurs, business and cultural personalities, memoir writers, anywhere from ebooks, self-publishers, if you want to write a 20-page ebook in a weekend, or if you have an agent and a traditional publisher in the wing, and you still need to write your book anyways, because at the end of the day, your agent isn't going to write it, and your publisher's not going to write it, you still have to write your book. So I have people from self-published Kindle writers all the way to traditionally published books. Now, this Best Owner Weekend is not for aspiring authors of fiction books. Now, that's a caveat because I just last year launched Best Seller in a Weekend for Fiction Writers, and that's been a huge success. Um, and we had our first one in October, and someone has already finished their fiction book, and that's really, really, uh, just within a couple of months, so I thought that was really awesome. Um, and aspiring authors of a children's book, uh, this is not a good fit, um, but I am going to be launching a children's book program um, in the next month, so I'm excited about that. And it's not for anyone who will be financially uh, or emotionally stressed. Um, so um, if you're stressed out, if, if things aren't going well right now, you know, it's not a good fit right now because I really want people to be in a place of uh, abundance uh, where they're, you know, going to create something during the weekend. Um, you know, you can always come back if, if it's not a good time for you financially or emotionally. Um, and as I mentioned before, we have Best Seller Weekend for Fiction Writers, um, and you can uh, purchase that at the page as well, totalpreneur.com forward slash bestseller. So I want to tell you a little bit about Mara Williams, who uh, was number one in the bestseller disease treatment category, and show her, uh, really her timeline from vision to reality. Um, it just shows that what you can do when maybe life, uh, you know, doesn't feel fair, um, or life is giving you something, and how you can turn that into an amazing experience and learning opportunity. Now, Mara was and is, still is, a caregiver for her daughter with uh, Lyme disease. And she attended Bestseller Weekend in June 2011 to write her book, uh, Nature's Dirty Needle, which is about chronic Lyme disease. After she wrote her book, she started appearing on TV and having book signings in August, September, and October 2011. And then she became a bestseller on Amazon in the disease treatment category for Kindle and print. Then she was featured on chronic, uh, chronic disease blogs in August, September 2012. She used her platform to do a Kickstarter campaign, and she fully funded a house that houses and takes care of people with chronic Lyme disease. And then in like 2013, she was asked to speak at Washington, D.C. They flew her out to Washington, D.C. To, uh, to speak about Lyme disease. And then she was asked to speak at the Capitol in Sacramento, California about Lyme disease. So how powerful is that within you know, basically, a, you know, 18 months, she created such huge stuff, really taking her vision to reality. Um, and I, I don't know, I love using this. To, for me, this is really an inspiration of how, what you can create um, from experience. Um, so another result from the weekend, we have Carrie Dale, uh, who wrote a book, and she got interest from Hay House, was so totally excited about that. She says, thank you, Alicia. Bestseller in a weekend is worth it times 10. It makes the seemingly impossible quest of birthing a book and getting into the world a possibility for us all. Then we have, uh, we have Zoe, who became a number one bestseller. Uh, she wrote her book, and it, like I think the next week, she was a bestseller on Amazon. <laughs> and she said, bestseller in a weekend pushed me to get off my backside and take action. Plus, it introduced me to a like-minded group who are going to be a great community to stay connected with. And she also won a book award. So not only did she become a bestseller, but she won a book award, which is so awesome. And she really leveraged the uh, community to do so. It was really awesome. Um, Adam Galad says, huge praise. And, and Adam was actually at Traffic and Conversion. Ken, I don't know if you, if you know Adam, but I ran into him there, no. too. But, uh, but he said, huge praise and alert to all. I just finished Alicia's bestseller in a weekend writing workshop. No one is a bigger skeptic than me. No one hates fluff and BS more than me. And I have to say I was amazed at how straightforward, insanely productive, and smart this program is. If you or anyone has a book in them, get them to this course. It's stupid not to go. I'll, uh, we I'll, have I'll, other people. I'll, I'll, I'll drink to that. You'll drink to that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
We have Yvonne. She's another one uh, who had her book like printed within two weeks, and she was at a trade show selling her book after Bestseller Weekend. She was not messing around, um, and she was testing her title here and getting awesome feedback. And Sean Douglas, best online program ever. And Marcus says it's intense, action-filled weekend and fantastic class. Don says. So I just want to do recap. You get the live six modules plus the live Q and A. You get the lifetime membership access to videos and all the process maps and eBooks. Lifetime access to a thriving, thriving Facebook community. Instant access to that when you purchase today. And when I say thriving, thriving, the re what I mean is I'm always. I mean it's such an engaging community. And what I do is I write press releases every week, and I love writing press releases about my clients. So if someone becomes a bestseller, um, or they ha appear on TV, or something uh, something cool happens, I'll write a press release on their behalf. So it's really important for me to see success and to support my clients in success and support them to fully be and create that container for them to be the leader they're meant to be. And that's really what I feel like um, the reason I'm here um, is to support people in that. And then you, I give a 30-day guarantee from date of purchase. Um, I want to make sure it's a good fit from you. So it's a 30-day guarantee from date of purchase. And then you get the four bonuses, including the Rolodex, priceless. It's of uh, you know all kinds of uh, editors in there, uh, people. I even have um, some really cool uh, people on Fiverr that I've worked with. So it's a great Rolodex that I keep updated uh, for this program attendees. So you go to totalpreneur.com forward slash bestseller. You get that at four ninety seven. Again, we have clients all over the world, and today, the hundred percent live training with online lifetime access. Normally, it's nine ninety seven. You can go to my website right now. Um, I sell it for nine ninety seven. In person, I don't even sell it for fifteen ninety seven anymore because my in person events are contracted out by uh, associations and organizations, and so they they charge their people nineteen hundred dollars. Um, so today I'm selling it for four ninety seven, and, and that's if you go to totalpreneur.com forward slash bestseller in a weekend. Alicia, can you go to that page? Because I want to show I want to show people an option that that for some of you that may not be aware of this, um, if you want, if you have an economic challenge at the moment where four ninety seven is just a, a lot for you in one fell swoop, if you are a U have a U.S. PayPal account, you can actually pay through PayPal and make no payments using PayPal's bill me later. So that lets you to get 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 into the program with basically zero today. So if you if you go on, there'll be an option to pay with credit card or pay with PayPal. And again, this is for American PayPal accounts only at, at this point. I, I hear a rumor that they're going to extend it, but that doesn't help us today. So if you're a U.S. PayPal customer, you can go and pay through PayPal and uh, use the bill me later, which may help a bunch of you. I know a couple of you have, have asked about that. So that may help you, Stu. Great. Did you want me to go on to that page? Why don't we show them the page? Because what, what I like to do on a webinar is show everybody exactly what's coming up next. And after, and by the way, for those okay. of you that have, that have already ordered, um, you're going to get to a thank you page, which will give you the choice. There's the three live dates that Alicia has. Uh, and I want you to understand that those, those are the live dates, but you're going to get instant access into the members area. So you'll have the ability to get, I love that. You'll have the ability to get um, right into. Oh, do I have my emails coming up? <laughs> no, 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 I'm looking at Happy 30th Mac because um, you and I are oh. both because you and I are both are both Jedi on on the Macs. Um, <laughs> but um, in any event, you'll be able to have instant access to the material. Um, it's already been pre-recorded, and then go live on over the weekend. So um, you'll be good to go. So what you're going to see is you're going to see that order page, which lists all the different modules and everything. And then as you scroll down to the bottom, there'll be a choice. Uh, there should be a choice down below. Uh, it's, okay. I think somewhere on that page. If you, uh, you, you're still up a little bit. Is that it? Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, payment options, credit card or PayPal. So you'll have the opportunity if you want to go PayPal. We don't care either way. Whatever suits you best, um, you can go ahead and order that way to take advantage of the bill me later option. So I wanted to be sure that everyone had that, that ability. And again, once you're in, you'll just you'll choose the weekend that you want to participate in, and that way Alicia will know how to how to schedule things out for you uh, on the personal basis. So hopefully that that answers any of the questions that you guys had about how you get ordered and how you can go on from there. Um, 
Diana has a question for you, Alicia, and I didn't mean to cut you off, but I wanted, I wanted to get that, that question answered for Stu right away um, and show everybody else that was, uh, that was concerned about how to get the payments made. Uh, how do you enter into this book buying bliss in a 24 to 48 hour period? I wasn't quite sure, Diana, what you meant by that, um, but um, maybe that means something to you. Alicia. Oh, um, the 24 to 48 hour book buying blitz. That's really a oh, blitz. It's, it's a campaign. <laughs> oh, blitz. I, I was like bliss. I was thinking about, about happiness and joy. And I was like, did I miss something here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly I'm, I'm so yeah, the blitz is, a, it's a, it's a really, yeah, it's a way to, um, it's really a way to drive sales during a, like an urgent action oriented time. Uh, to get people to take action. And, and so what we do during Best Seller in a Weekend is we plan that all out, what date you're going to have it. Um, we have particular uh, dates and times, days of the week. We also have got days of the year, the best times, best time of the year to launch a book and the de best day of the year to launch a book. Um, so that's what we go in, um, in detail during Best Seller in a Weekend. Cool. Okay, let me see. There was one other thing I, I needed to ask you about. Stu says, I fall into the stress. Diana says, this is awesome. Um, somebody else asked, a uh, buddy wanted to know, um, will the course address um, how you can avoid plagiarism? Oh, did I mute myself? How can you uh, control plagiarism? Yeah. How you can control plagiarism? Yes. Did I, uh, is that I the mute? question? Yeah, that's the question. How can you con control plagiarism? Um, this is, um, you know, Best Learner Weekend, it's all 100% original content. So the whole weekend, we do not, it's 100, I'm, I'm like a stickler in regards to that. It's 100% original content. So that's what we do during the weekend. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, and the things too, that I wanted to, to um, and uh, Buddy, that I want to make clear was that this is a live event. So any questions that come up throughout the process you're gonna you're gonna get to, 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 blah, 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 easy for me to say to talk to Alicia about that, and that's important. You know that that's that's really important. So you'll have that you'll have completely Absolutely. have that ability. And by the way, even until then and afterwards, you got the Facebook group to interact with. So you're you're completely supported all the way through with any questions, with concerns, with with uh, with the resistance that comes your way. But the key here right now for all of you is to avoid resistance and. As, as uh, Stephen Pressman says in his book, The War of Art, which is, I guess it is mandatory reading for every single, every single one of you, what stops you right now will stop you again and again and again. So if you're thinking about, should I do this? The answer is yes, you're, you're still here with us, okay? Yes, you came here for a reason. Yes, you got some great value over the past 40 minutes. And yes, get yourself signed up. The URL once again is is uh, 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 Totalpreneur, I should put that in the chat, I apologize for not doing that, everybody, totalpreneur.com forward slash bestseller, I'm putting that in the chat for you right now, um, and go ahead and get your spot, it helps if I spell the, the link right, um, but get your spot and take action right now, because quite frankly, the, the longer you wait, the more it's going to cost you, and I don't just mean in dollars, I mean it's going to cost you in wasted time, which is far more expensive than than paying a 997 price for this. The bottom line is that by not moving forward to your dreams, you don't build your self-esteem, you don't build a momentum. And the biggest thing that Pressman talks about is you sit your butt down and you start writing. In this case, sit your butt, butt down, get ordered on this and follow what Alicia will teach you and you'll create the best selling book that you deserve, that's inside of you. Every single one of you needs to have that for your business, which is why I begged her to do it this week right now she, was, she wasn't going to be available for another three or four weeks or so, and I, I begged her to do it for us this week. So this is because I feel it's so important for every single one of you to be taking urgent action right this, right this minute. Um, Debbie asked a good question. Are there any text scripts for the videos to support us with trouble writing notes while watching videos? We, we do have a whole course curriculum. We have a course curriculum. And we also have process maps, and we, and we also have all the PowerPoint presentations on the membership site. That's perfect. And the checklist will be really helpful for you too, Debbie. Yes. So, yeah, I mean, that's the, I, I'll tell you what, the book is such a fundamental thing to do. I mean, it's a huge thing to do for you and for your business. It's yeah. huge. I talked to coaches. I was talking to Laurel Langmeyer the other day, and, and in, her, in her teachings, everyone teaches you've got to write a book. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's just... It's, 
it's it's huge and and what I'm seeing with my clients and that's why I mean my clients on a daily basis on the Facebook page people are having some sort of breakthrough whether it's appearing on TV there's speaking opportunities or on radio they are you know you know they have their Brian Tracy is endorsing their book got some great endorsements I got you know Jack Camfield endorsing my clients books uh, Brian Tracy uh, you know, it's just huge. It's a huge how their lives are changing. Um, I have clients that are making twenty thousand dollars a speaking gig now because they wrote a book. Um, it's just, it's, it's wild. Um, it's wild what's happening in terms of their business. Um, so it's really, to me, it's not if you're going to write a book, but when. And the t as you said, Ken, the time is now. The time is now because it's not just wasted, you know, money if you have to pay, pay it full price, but wasting the time because when you when you play small you you're doing everyone a disservice it's really leaning in and like going forward and saying yes saying yes to all the opportunity out there um, and fully being committed um, and one thing I, I truly believe is that leaders make the decision first they figure it all out later it's and true I just really encourage everyone to make the decision and it's all going to flow I mean it always does we are always taken care of um, yeah. and um, and so make the decision and just go forward and really give yourself, you know, the, I like how you mentioned uh, boosting self-esteem. You know, there's a global crisis. There's a global self-esteem crisis, a global, global leadership crisis where we're playing at 10%. Yep. I'm going to ask everyone on the call to play 100%. It's true. Um, it's and, true. And I'd love to help you do that. You know, uh, I, I don't know if you saw this email. That I, if I forwarded you a bunch of emails that I sent out this week, but I sent out an email as I was writing the promotions for this. I had forgotten uh, about the dynamics of what my first book did for me. Uh, but way back when I was a youngin, uh, I did my first book, um, and, I, and I wrote the book. A lot of it I wrote in a weekend. I was, I, was in, I was in Cape Cod. I was in Provincetown, and I was out with friends. And I actually took my, my – um, at that point, I was using a compact computer, the one that was the size of a sewing machine, took the draw of a dresser in, my, in the guest house. It didn't have a desk. Turned the draw and emptied it out. Turned it over and used the bottom of the draw in in upside down as a desktop. As I wrote, because that was that important to me, I was that committed. Wrote my book, and it was published by a real publisher, Impact Publishing. When my grandmother finally saw the book a few months later, and I handed it to her, handed her the book. At that time, it was physical. She she was like she blown away because she never really thought I would amount to anything. I was an, always an entrepreneur. And she wanted something tangible. She wanted the doctor and the lawyer. And in my family, my cousins were doctor, lawyer, accountant. And I was like the guy that like was the big failure. And when she saw the book, she was like, my grandson, the author. I mean, it, it transformed everything in my family because I was something she, it was tangible. I mean, she saw, she held the, the book. It was huge for me, absolutely huge for me. Um, so uh, I encourage every single one of you, when I talk about self-esteem, I can tell you from, from experience, it makes a hell of a difference. It makes a hell of a difference. Uh, Jan says, looking forward to the one, I can't see the rest of the one in children's writing. Okay. Um, that's going to be great for you. Um, Stu says, um, I love it. Thank you so much. Um, return doing books. I've been putting it off for several years two or three books I want to write. So for those of you that are that are already in or they're very signed up and because I can't see the the orders right now so I'm, I'm, I've blocked my screen up, just pop in the chat, tell me that you're in so that we can start congratulating you. As I see, I, I, I know a lot of you are, are playing right now. Um, so just let me know that you're in. And that'll be helpful and let Alicia and I know. Um, and any other questions, let's go answer them. Is there anything else that you wanted to add, Alicia, by the way? Because I know I've kind of jumped in here. No, I'm just encouraging people to fully lean in. Okay, Debbie's in. 100%. Debbie's in. I see, I see De Debbie's in. Yay. And she, she's great. Awesome, Debbie. De Debbie's Can't wait Debbie, to work with you. Debbie takes action. I can tell you right now, Debbie takes action. Um, Debbie and, takes action. I like that. That's yeah. your website, debbietakesaction.com. You, you, you're, abs <laughs> you're, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Um, we, no question about it. Um, Warning, warning, she's a new begin a new beginning. That's okay. Debbie, we know that. And and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to work with you directly in helping you build your website and build your business. Because that's exactly where you want to be. Debbie, Debbie's one of my, my most valuable players. I would call her an MD, MVP. Uh definitely no, no definitely says she'll need help. No problem. That's what we're here for. Um and um, you know, that makes you very, very special. So uh yeah, we're off to a great start. So 
Um, for the rest of you guys, some of you I know are obviously working on getting your orders placed, so not a problem. I see that Bill says he's in. Tom says, let me finish ordering. <laughs> Linda says, yes. So yeah, we've got a bunch of people that are, that are going to be joining you. I'm not sure what dates you're, you're going to be coming in for, but don't, not to worry. Um, get started right now, and you'll be in the members area immediately, so you can actually begin taking action right away, which I want you to do. I mean, I, I absolutely want you to start using this material right away. Leonora wants to know that, uh, when the trading sessions are scheduled. Is there a page that you, that you put together on that? For the dates, the the dates are, the I don't I don't think you put them on your sales page. Um, I, but the I have, dates, the I, next I have them, one. I have them on the success page. Like after they, you, there's a drop down page for you to actually do it. Yes, huh? yeah. So, so it's it's all on those dates. I'll give you. I'll it's read all them, on those dates. I'll, I'll read them off to you guys then. Um, March twenty eighth through thirtieth is the first live one. June sixth through eighth, and then October seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So those, those are the three dates, and you will get to choose. So. So when you finish the checkout, you go straight to Alicia's site, and that will get you registered for the date of your choice, whether it's March, June, or October. Um, you'll also be asked for your Skype ID so that you can actually have individual attention, and we also like to know what country you're in. That helps Alicia get an idea of, of where you're going to be at. So um, so that's the, that's the scoop, and again, that'll be on the success page to choose those those particular dates, you guys. Okay. Um, and yeah, and, and Debbie, Debbie's dropping in the chat. There's a page already to fill in. So once you, once you pay, you're right on that page and you get registered. And that will get Alicia's team to be able to get you access into the members area and the Facebook group and all that, you know, get you all indoctrinated right away. So you'll be good to go. Yeah, this will be this will be really good for you guys, particularly for you, for, Le, for you, Leonora, and for you, Ted, um, and, and Stu, and so on. So this will be a great, great start. So... Um, any other any other questions? Anybody else? I see a few more people saying that they're that they're in. So this is great. Congratulations, Craig. Uh, congratulations, Lisa. Um, so any other questions I want to get answered before we before we go? No. Anything else you want to add, Alicia, on your end? Before well, I just we... want to thank you, Ken, so much. I just hey. want to thank everyone so much, and thank you for the time. And and you're going to send this out to people who um, who registered, right? Um, Yes. Yeah. They'll, they'll, okay. I'm, I'm, we are we are recording a replay. I know a couple people will ask for a replay. Um, yes. But I want you guys to take action on this right now, and not wait for a replay. I know some of you want to pass this to your friends and relatives for sure. Um, Diana wants to see what she can do to get into the program. Okay. Uh, is yeah, Debbie. There's a possible you can change dates if you need to. And Alicia, I think I think yes. she lets you change dates once uh, as you go as you go through. So not a problem. And Debbie Debbie knows about changing dates because poor Debbie. Was supposed to be Debbie was supposed to be on the marketers cruise this year, and she she got sick and was unable to act when it was unable to travel. So I was her proxy, and I I had her cabin on the marketers cruise this year. So <laughs> um, okay. Um, oh, by the way, Debbie says PayPal for Australia gives delay payment for twenty one days. Did not know that. So that's the beginning of a bill me later. They're going out three weeks. So that's great. Um, the daily hours do do. Uh, the daily hour time commitments Stu wants to know. Let's go back to that page and show Stu what, what it, they are. And by the way, Stu, yeah. everything is recorded so that if you're going to miss part of that, Alicia's going to have it recorded for you. As I know that she's working American time. So for those of us here in this part of the world, it's going to be during the night. Um, and given that I've been giving live events and we've got a bunch more coming up for you guys over the next few months um, that require me to be up all night, um, it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it if that affects you. I'm not sure where you are, Stu. But you can see on your screen she's got the, the American Eastern and Pacific time uh, time frames in place. So that um, for, for you, you Americans, it's not it's it's perfectly great. Um, for those of us here, it's it's evening, it's night, but that's cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, Stu's California. Okay, that's perfect for you then. So that should take care of you for there. Um, right. and, yeah, and again, for me, you know, I don't care what the hell your schedule is, honestly. I don't talk about you as your as a listener. I don't care what the schedule of the event is, um, because whatever it is, I'm going to be there. I, I, the other night there was a webinar that that uh, that somebody did that started it at uh, I think one o'clock in the morning and finished at three thirty, and I was on it. I woke up and I went back to bed and messed up my sleep schedule, but it was worth it because I was committed to it. So. Um, yes. For me, I don't care what the health schedule is. We're, we're greater than we're greater than our circumstances. <laughs> well, that's, if, if you're commit, well, you know, it's interesting. One of the great authors, Og Mandino, 
wrote, it was one of the one of the world's greatest motivational authors ever. And if you get a chance to read, read any, any of Og's books, you should read Og Mandino. Um, he was asked um, how how he was um, how he was able to write all these books. I mean, and how did he manage to get it done? He was an insurance salesman. He had a full time job when he was first getting started. And what Og said was, I got up an hour earlier in the morning. I was committed to just writing every every morning for an hour, and that's what I did, and I got it done. So to me, it requires that to you know that level of discipline. The cool thing and thing I like so much about what Alicia's doing is that she's she's setting you up to have that sense of discipline over the course of the weekend to get it done now, get it done in a commitment, not tr- stretch it out like Og did, you know, as he had to do, but by planning ahead right now, you knowing what the next dates are in March, for example, plan that weekend, leave it open for you, uh, you know, for Friday afternoon on through Saturday and Sunday, and knock the sucker out. And that's what it takes. That's why I like doing my conferences as virtual full weekend conferences because it's it's it just makes it easier to get the job done. So uh, Diana says you did an awesome job. Therefore, you get the wackity clap clap, the virtual clap. Says <laughs> Diana is great with a virtual clap. One of our biggest fans. So okay, you guys, go ahead and grab your spot. Um, Diana, if you need something, drop me a note. And um, Alicia, thanks. It's it's just been fun playing with you. And I, I got to tell you. Um, even better this time. This is this is this is not the first time you've been on this on this platform, and you get better and better each time. So, uh, I'm thrilled thrilled to have had you with us today. And thank you again so much, everybody. Thanks again for joining us. Grab your spot right now, uh, and um, uh, we'll be good to go. I uh, I want to want to welcome you, and uh, I think you're going to be so so happy with what um, what you've done. Thank you so much, Ken. It's been such a great pleasure, and uh, I'll see you soon. All right. Take care, kiddo. Be good. Bye, everybody. Take care. Bye.